Hey, my name is Gleb Alexandrov, and this is the introduction slash promo video of our new course, Cinematic Lighting in Blender. This is an extensive video guide for those who want to learn the ins and outs of lighting in Blender to make every scene look more professional and, well, cinematic. If I had to guess the biggest challenge of CG lighting that we've all been through at some point, that would be this, and I wonder how familiar that sounds. No matter what I do with lights, it just looks wrong, it looks flat. It looks like an everyday photo with absolutely no emotion attached. And the problem is that I have no idea why. It seems that some CG artists just know the secret to making it look right. To cut the story short, I believe there's an ingredient list for a sort of lighting secret sauce. And if you take most or even some of the boxes from this list, it will instantly improve the result. You know, things like place the key light on that side and not on that side, make the shadows fall this way, make the light bigger and softer by attaching a modifier, like balance these levels. There is just really a list of techniques and principles to CG lighting that just work. And fortunately, it's not rocket science. It can be learned fairly quickly. Actually, that's what this course is all about. Please welcome Cinematic Lighting in Blender. A premium course that offers a step-by-step -step guide for setting up dramatic lighting in Blender for character shots, for still life and object shots, and for 3D environments as well, for pretty much anything using both Cycles and Eevee. Let me walk you through the contents now. In the first chapter we'll have a look at the still life lighting formula with Cycles, Blender's most realistic render engine. Starting from scratch, we'll build our setup one step at a time, from the key light to the special effects. Along the way, we'll be talking about the crucial light characteristics such as direction, softness and falloff. After watching it, you'll be ready to light a typical object or a still life shot to make it look three-dimensional and cinematic. After that, we'll learn how to properly store the wide dynamic range light values generated by Cycles and bring out the best qualities of your renders with some basic post-processing in the Blender's compositor. The second chapter will be all about setting up lighting for a character render in Cycles. To make it easy to digest, we'll approach it one light at a time. This time starting with an HDRI environment and then getting to know the key, fill and backlights within a famous three-point lighting scheme. After nailing the basics, we'll polish it up with practical lights and special effects like haze and dust. By the end of this chapter, you'll know all the tools you'd ever need to light any character. Light groups are awesome for relighting renders in post. It is important to learn how to make use of this Blender feature to try different lighting styles or looks without having to re-render anything. The third major chapter of the course will be the interior lighting formula for Eevee, giving Blender's real-time render engine its time to shine. After familiarizing ourselves with the tips and tricks from that chapter, I'm sure we'll have zero problems with the realistic yet moody environments of that style all rendered in Eevee with the latest tech for simulating global illumination such as SSGI or screen space global illumination. The fourth chapter will pass the ball to Cycles once again. Expect a complete environment lighting setup explained for this sunlit warehouse location. We're gonna be exploring different light layers of which it is composed, then we'll spice it up with the 2D beams of light and some post pro to create an extremely realistic yet expressive lighting and I wouldn't be surprised if new videos and even new chapters will be added over time. So just imagine there could be even more tutorials that we haven't mentioned. Hmm, uh, on the other hand, we would probably update this video then. Anyway, all the models and blend scenes that are needed for following along the videos or just checking the final result come along with the course and will be available for download. As for the difficulty, answering the question, is this course for me? It would definitely help to have some familiarity with the Blender's user interface and tools. If you have just begun using Blender, then we would recommend watching any beginner course to get yourself acquainted. That being said, as with our previous photogrammetry course, a dedicated support channel as well as the students chat on Discord will be available. So if you get stuck, the other students as well as the Creative Shrimp team will hopefully help you to get unstuck. 
Six years ago, we released our first lighting project that some of you may remember. It was called Realistic Lighting. It was an important milestone in my artistic career. I'm deeply grateful to everyone involved and I hope you love this new one as well. That is the result of everything we've learned over these years. So that is it. Get it now so that you can level up your CG lighting. But get it only if you can comfortably afford it. If not, just know that we still want you to benefit from these videos, so we will be uploading a fair amount of them on our YouTube, probably with some extra delay. That was Gleb Alexandrov for creativeshrimp.com. Take care, or as we say in Belarusian, and see you among the lighting course students.